Okay, warning here. This is a spoiler review. It's a spoiler freaking review. It's a spoiler review. It is what it is. Just accept this as a freaking spoiler review. So I've warned you right now. This is a spoiler freaking view. Okay, it's a spoiler review. Because there's so much stuff I couldn't say in the non-spoiler, I can fully say everything right now. So boom. This is your last warning, okay? If you have not watched the, the, the film, watch the film first before coming back here. This is your final warning. Spoilers. Here we go. So James Bond has a, has, has a, has a, has a child. <laughs> James Bond has a, has a child. We'll, 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 we'll get to what they did to James Bond at, at the end. He has a child. James Bond has a child. Because um, when, um, you know, he goes to... Is it, uh, is it Mathilde? But see, I can't remember what, so, so, it's, 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 it's one of those, it's, no. Okay, let me see, the, is this, Ma oh, Madeline. When he goes to Madeline, I'm like, wait, is that my kid? And she's like, no, no, don't worry, it's not yours, it's not yours. I was like, okay, this was like, cause I just wouldn't think that's not, they're not gonna give James Bond a kid and so forth in this. So when I was like, okay, no, no, it's not, no, it's not. Then when it obviously goes to, I think it's Severin, Rami Malek's character. And then he now, is like, okay, yeah, that's your kid. I was like, oh, damn, damn. And here's the thing, that's an interesting angle. Because I think James Bond has always been, look, he's like the perfect bachelor, you know, goes in, does his thing with the woman, keeps moving, does his thing with the woman, keeps him moving, does his thing with the woman, keeps him moving and so forth. So, um, it was, interesting to see a bit of a different yeah, like, like it was just interesting to say oh wow they've they've, they've given this guy a kid they've, they've given this guy a child like they've really sort of um said what's up to your to your boy now so my thing is um it's an interesting angle to take but i've got to be real with you it's felt super cheesy like i mean <laughs> Just, because for me, I was like, oh, he's, he's, oh, hello, daddy. Oh, where is dude? dude? Where is dude? And then there's the, there's the whole thing. Where is dude? And obviously, they were setting it up for what obviously happened towards the, the end, man. So, you look, it's it's a big, it's an interesting move. Now, I dare them to now um, make the character. Because my thing is, that's why are you setting this up to be now the Matilda Bond? Because you have to remember, I think her name is Phoebe Waller Bridge. She writes um, Fleabag, and I think she won an Emmy for Fleabag. She's one of the writers here. And I think she's obviously been brought in to sort of, you know, add much more of the whole female angle there, which, okay, look, fine, it's all cool, because my thing was, because that's what I said in my non-spoiler re review, the kind of, oh, I'm a female bond and so forth, wasn't so overreaching. Obviously, you know, you, you know the Lashana Lynch character, you know, said a few things here and there, but it wasn't so overbearing as many people feared it was. Thank goodness for that. Um, but yeah, I just felt the... It was an interesting story angle to give him the daughter because it raised the stakes. So, and I think we've never seen James Bond in a position where you're not trying to save someone you love, you're not trying to save your, your, your child. And that's something much more personal and much more deep because definitely this was a more personal kind of James Bond film. Um, so it was cool, but I just felt it's, it's how you execute it. It's an interesting story angle, but the way it was executed, I'm not leaning more towards on like the writing and the setups and just the kind of things that she was being said. And basically it's fe it felt cheesy. It, ju it just felt cheesy, you know, and it's felt too much like, hey, let's just talk on the heartstrings, the emotional things, let's have, see like her eyes look all you know sorrowful or so so oh how cute and everything because they yeah, look people, even people in my cinema were like oh how cute how how cute um but look let's let's deal with the um pink tortoise in the room they killed james bond they killed james i mean i am in complete and utter shock that they really went ahead and they did it <laughs> they really went ahead and they did it, man. And my thing is, um, when, <laughs> because you know when they were just doing the whole thing of like, he's saying, I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to make it. I was like, oh, we've seen this before. You know, he does the massive speech. There's the massive emotional stuff. And you see, that I felt was a bit too overdone. 
And I just feel like that stream just was felt so melodramatic. But I felt, okay, because they're just stretching this out so much, they're not going to kill him. I'm like, yeah, there's going to be an, an explosion and he'll survive and it'll be all good. But then once the rockets came through, I was about to say, okay, look, Batman did nuke himself at the end of Dark Knight Rises. He did, he did nuke himself at the end of that film. But maybe this would be different. Nope. Nope. It's, it's, it's not. Um... Um, this will, like, once it just happened and you just saw the screen turn white, literally you could hear a pin drop in the whole cinema. Because that's a huge move. Like, it's funny, I was the, um, the friend I went, I went with to watch the film, I was, I was saying to the friend that, um, there's no way that they're going to kill James James Bond because it was a discussion I was having with my brother where I, I, I think Danny Boyle was the original guy to do James Bond and he wanted to kill James Bond and I feel that was the reason why they didn't have an alignment to do so but I'm thinking, wait a minute I thought they didn't get Danny Boyle because they wanted to kill James Bond so it can't be this because Fukunaga just killed him because my thing of why it's such a huge move is because what do you now do? James Bond is James Bond so the only thing you can do are prequels so previous excursions and so forth but it's basically you can't move forward from this section there where where because Jim he's dead he's finished you know um, and 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 my things that look you can't what because this ain't Avengers and so forth because there's no Iron Man here and the, there's there's no um, Bruce Banner so you, you can't sort of recreate him and so forth this ain't the, the freaking Avengers so the guy the dude is gone because the only way you could move forward is either with the National Lynch 007 or you wait what 30 20 something years or so forth and what matilda bond is now the new bond which they'll, 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 they'd never try that but like because that's would be super cheesy if they now make her like the new regimes are like oh i'm matilda Bond. i'm taking up my father's mantle no that would be super cheesy um but that's interesting that they would do that you know and my thing is that like it's because i say okay it's see, it doesn't have such huge implications because the James Bond thing, it's so malleable. Like the next guy that's James Bond, oh, he's just James Bond, that's what James Bond had at this time. So whatever they, they do, this is just, this could be in the 60s, it could be in the 70s. So they could do a thing where, oh, this is James Bond in the 80s. And we're gonna recreate the 80s, this is James Bond in the 60s. Or just James Bond just at a time that's isn't known. But this just him on one of his many, because the guy would have done many, many missions, you know. So, um, and here's the thing though. Because they killed him in this, which is such a huge move, you could have done it better. And for me, I think one of my biggest beats with the film was Rami Malek was on as a villain because he was such a good villain. Like, just the kind of aura he exuded that, oh, this is an interesting villain. And I think, see, it's, it's about filmmaking choices. And like, as a director, you can talk with your, look, the script is just a blueprint. You don't have to go by the script. But I'm like, there could have been a way in which Here's the thing, it would have hit harder if it was unexpected. The way it was done where he's, he's, he speaks to um, Mar okay, Mat is it Mar Matilda and so forth and there's this whole long way to say, I'm sorry, you know, please, you know, live your life, all this kind of stuff. I'm like, it's like you're, you're selling it so much, even though I thought they'll never go through it. But if it was a case where he's just with Homeboy and Homeboy like, just like hits him, kills him and like, he doesn't even know, oh shit, what the hell do I do? You know, um, but still, but even the way that they did it, you always, you still felt in the back of my mind, he's getting out. I was like, there is no way this guy is getting out. And then when that bomb just hit, I was like, <laughs> this guy didn't just kill James Bond. Like, these dudes surely didn't just kill James Bond. But like, like, no, surely not. Surely not. Um... But yeah, man, it's it's a it's it's a big move. So I think, look, overall, I just think that look, there were a lot of big moves. Like, as I was, see, that's why I couldn't say in the non because you have two big moves. One big move being um, his daughter. <laughs> that you know he has a daughter, which just changed the dynamic of James Bond. Would I have done that? Probably not, because I just feel that it's too personal to, for James Bond. I just, it's not something I would have done, but it's an interesting angle. Um, and he, killing him. See, for me, 
that's an that's something that I would do, but not the way that they did it. I think killing James Bond is a very big move that I think that Nepal wanted to do, but it's the way you do. I felt it would have hit harder if we never saw it coming. If we just never saw it coming and it was just like boom, he was like what? That would have it would have delivered a greater show. Just that the way they did it was not, it was just like okay, this is now the. It's almost as if they were aware that this is Daniel Craig's last outing and they wanted it to him to go out with a bang, you know. But just in my mind, I just think to myself that, you know, why would they have signed off on that? As a creative person that wants to push things, oh, it's freaking great. I'm just looking at the producers, Broccoli and so forth, I'm like, oh, wow, you're going to just kill James Bond. Because once you've done that, you've done that. So right now, in any James Bond that, that you do, basically, once you do this, James Bond now can't die anymore. In, in, so that's Jeopardy is already gone now because it's like, no, no, this is how he dies. So this is how he, he, he perishes in this situation here. So I mean, that's why because you guys are not seeing it, I would kill James Bond. I would do it because it's a huge move. It's a huge move. But my thing is, see, could have been, could have been bigger, could have been teeny, could have been teeny, could have been a little bit more, could be a little bit more, could be a little bit more. But, but look, it's it's an interesting film. It's an interesting film. Um, but I just here's the this is the issue. There's, there are so many big moves in this film. You can't just do another James Bond. You've basically, put it this way. If they gave this story to Sam Mendes, we could have had a crazy... Sam Mendes should have been allowed to finish. For me, I feel Sam Mendes should have been allowed to close this out. Because I think Sam Mendes, how he would have handled this, would have had a lot more gravitas. I told you, I liked Spectre, and I actually prefer Spectre to this film. You know, like if Spectre had it off and on, but I just, I, mean, I just think Sam Mendes is such a crazy director. He's like, look, freaking Jarhead, freaking American Beauty, freaking 1970. The guy is a very good director. So he should have been allowed to close his trilogy, and he should have allowed to be. I'm now going, I'm going to close out James Bond. If he had, he had his Skyfall, Spectre, No Time to Die, it would have been, it would have been Money Man. So. Because Fukunaga, he, he did well. Like, that scene at the end when he's basically shooting all of the guys in the freaking tower, oh, that was very well done. That was very well done. That whole one shot was very well done. But just felt like that emotional scene of, oh, shit, this is the end of James Bond. It's a bit too cheesy. It was a bit too cheesy. It was a bit too much like, oh, well, well, he had so many speeches, too many speeches, too many speeches. This is my issue with freaking Nolan films and freaking Dark, Dark Knight, man. But, fuck. It's a huge move. It's a huge freaking move that I would have never seen coming, man. Uh, so guys, man, tell me what, 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 what you think, man. For those of you who have seen it, what did you think about the film? Um, what did you think about what they did to James Bond in the freaking film as, as well? And um, where do we go from here? Like for me, I don't even know where we go from here, but I, Craig, Daniel Craig could have been so much more. He could have been so much more. And I think that this could have been a far more dramatic, far more larger um, exit for him. It was still good. Like, it was, it was people, like, the friend I was with, she, 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 she began to, to cry. So the people were, were crying in the field. So I, people were crying all around. So I, basically, when I have, I actually laughed because I was saying, what? <laughs> Excuse me? So, um, you just have to wait, wait and see how it rolls, man. So guys, man, like, subscribe, tell me what you think about Jimmy Bond, No Time Today, and where do we go from freaking here, man?